بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Dear brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How is our Ramadan going? Are we on track with our plan, the plan that we made before Ramadan? How does it look on the graph? Does it look like this and then coming down and then up? If you're not living up to our plan, don't worry brothers and sisters. There's a night which is in these last 10 days, inshallah, which is better than 1,000 nights. Allah SWT kept this opportunity for us. Look, Allah SWT giving us opportunity after opportunity. First, He gave us this Ramadan, and Ramadan is you know, coming almost end to Ramadan. And now He giving us opportunity in the last 10 days. And there's a night in these last 10 days, which is better than 1,000 nights. And this session, inshallah ta'ala, will be all about that night. What is that night? When is that night? And you know, what do you do in that night? And what do our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa do in that night? So inshallah, we are fully informed and we know what to do inshallah in this, in, in this night. This night actually called Laylatul Qadr. What is, what is Laylatul Qadr? If you look at the Quran Karim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about, talked about this, uh, this Laylatul Qadr in two places in the Quran Karim. First of all, he revealed one entire surah in the, in the Quran Karim. You know, from, in the Quran Karim, from beginning of the Quran, Surah Al Fatiha, end of the Quran, uh, Surah Al Nas, there's 114 surahs altogether. In these 114 surahs, you will not find any specific any surah where Allah SWT talks about one uh, specific theme in the entire surah from beginning to the end. And this is the only surah which is called Surah Al Qadr, who talks about Laylatul Qadr. So, beginning of the, of the, uh, of the surah, Till the end of the surah, Allah only talks about this, light, this, this night. And also, Allah also mentioned this in Surah Al-Dukhan. So dear brothers and sisters, can you see how significant this night is? Allah revealed one entire surah about this night, where he talks about what is this night, and what happens in this night, and what happened in this night. And can you see how Allah some valued this night, dear brothers and sisters? So Allah said, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أنزلناه في ليلة القدر that indeed we revealed the Quran in this night in the light the night of قدر قدر means in high status in a low منزلة you know as Allah mentioned in another place in the Quran كريم وما قدر الله حق قدره they did not value Allah سبحانه وتعالى as it should be so it's, it actually is a, it has Allah SWT gave this a high status. It has high value to Allah SWT. In fact, because of this, Allah SWT mentioned this word a qadr three times in this whole surah. So uh, can you see how, how Allah SWT gave high status this, to, to, to this surah? So this, why this night is so important? Because Allah revealed the Quran, the Quran that you have, it was in Lahu Mahfuz, and then on this night, it was revealed from Lawh Mahfuz to uh, the closest heaven, which is called, uh, there's a place called uh, Baytul Izza. And from that place, Quran was revealed gradually in 23 years. So this, this, you know, the, 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 the hidayah for these mu'mineen, you know, as Allah mentioned, Surah Al-Baqarah, Hudal lil nas, Hudal lil muttaqeen. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, this, that, that, that incident take, took place in this night. And because of this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, gave so much status, so much high status, so much value to this night. And not only this, our rizq, our destiny is also, our decree is also, decide, uh, also announced in this night. You know, in, uh, in Surah Al-Dukhan, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Hamim wal kitab al mubin إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ إِنَّا كُنَّا مُنْذِرِينَ And then he mentioned, فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٍ So in this night, Allah said, فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٍ On that night, 
is made distinct every precise matter. So our rizq for the whole year is announced in this night. Can you see what happens you know, in this night? SubhanAllah, you know, the Quran was revealed, uh, our rizq also uh, announced in this night. Can you see the importance of this night, dear brothers and sisters? You know, in the UK, uh, uh, if you look at uh, macro level, uh, uh, our budget, the government announced the budget in, uh, in, in, in autumn and spring. And just before the budget is announced, you know, the, the, the economists, they do so much research, so much you know, uh, uh, analysis, so many things, uh, so much preparation for the bu budget announcement. Even if you look at the micro level, if you're working you know, in, in any organization, if you head of a department and if you need to uh, uh, present you, 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 your budget, I mean, you can see what you have to go through. You know, you have to be so conscious, you be so you know, serious, you know, your budget, you make sure that, you know, your budget, budget is uh, approved so that you can uh, uh, deliver your, uh, uh, your action plan. And not only this, dear brothers and sisters, in this night, this is what happened. Allah SWT announced the budget. And do you, do you want your budget to be announced while you know we are sleeping, while you are, we are uh, 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 you know uh, sinning, while we are not worshiping Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Not only this, dear brothers and sisters. Budget for the entire ummah is announced in this night. So what will happen in the in in uh, for this ummah in Palestine, in any other countries, and you know what will happen, the good and bad. Everything is announced in this night. So how can you sleep when such important thing, thing, take, th things take place in this night, dear brothers and sisters? So Qadr also means power. You know, Allah SWT made this you know, uh, night so powerful, Ibadat, because Ibadat, you know, the, the worship in this night is very powerful. Let's see what Allah SWT mentioned in Surah Al-Qadr about this night. So Allah said, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. Indeed, verily, we have sent it down, the Quran, in the night of qadr. And what the following ayah said, Wa ma adiraka ma laylatul qadr. And Allah is saying, and what will make you know what the night of al qadr is? So he's another way saying, you know, al a'la. What do you know about Laylatul Qadr? Is Allah SWT mentioning what is Laylatul Qadr? You know, the, you know, the Allah has mentioned you know, Laylatul Qadr, uh, the Quran was revealed in this night. And they saying, what do, you, what do you know? What do you know about Laylatul Qadr? And then listen what Allah said. Listen how Allah SWT talks about Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr is khayrun min alfi shahr. So the night of Qadr is better than thousand months. Ya Allah. Let's take a pause in this. Let's try to understand what, what, what is me meant by this in thousand nights. Can you, let us actually do something. Get your uh, calculator out on, on your phone or any other device and just type 1000 and divide it by 12. And you see the number that appears on your screen should be 83 years and around four months. So just worshiping in one night is equivalent to 83 years. Ya Allah. I mean, it's just worshipping. So if we are living for 83 years, so our, our whole life, so as if we are worshipping our whole life, entire life, just worshipping one night is equivalent to you know, uh, worshipping Allah SWT for 83 years and four months. Yeah, Allah, look at some statistics. In the UK, according to Office for National Statistics, life expectancy is for male f in 2020, uh, till 2022 was uh, 78.6 years and for female was 82.6 years. So it's more than our life expectancy, every life. <laughs> SubhanAllah, this, this is how much Allah SWT valued this night. And not only this, in this night, the malaika, tanazzalu malaika wa ruhu fiha bi'ithni rabbihi min kulli amr. In this night, the malaika, the angels, they descend. The, look at the, the word Allah SWT mentioned for this, tanazzal, not tanzil. The tanazzal that you know, they reveal, they descend, they descend in, uh, so a lot of malaikan uh, descend in this night. Actually, in fact, in all the hadith, for, for some they descend like, like pebbles. 
pebbles on the earth. You know, so this is what happened in this night. And not only this, they also, uh, the, the Jibril, Ruh, also comes in this night. You know, Jibril after uh, the death of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has stopped coming because you know, his role is over. His role was to bring Wahi. And after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam departed, there's no need for uh, Wahi. But he also come in this night to celebrate this night. And they come by Allah's permission with all decrees. And look at the last ayat, what he said. Salamun hiya hatta matula al fajr. This night is peace, all about peace. Peace and peace and peace. It's peace for the uh, believers, peace for the, uh, the, the good uh, people. Because Allah's, Allah's mercy descend, come on that night for them. And it's also peace for the sinners, because Allah forgive in that night. So if we are indulged in any, any sin, even a bad thing, don't worry, just repent to Allah SWT, Allah forgive you. This night is peace for everybody. It's peace for the sinners, it's peace, peace for the, for the, for the good, good Muslim. SubhanAllah, and this salam, this peace, and look at how Allah SWT, SubhanAllah Allah mentioned this. Salamun here. You know, in Arabic, after the Quran, you could say, here salam. So, here come first, the salam comes second. But look, Allah SWT did mention salam. It's called something called ikhtisas, where he just want to what peace. Peace in this night. He want to highlight and signify, uh, highlight the significance of this peace in this night. And this peace continues until the appearance of dawn. So dear brother and sister, after knowing Laylatul Qadr, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala valued this night, how he, this is the best night in entire year. So do you not want to know when this night is, when is it? When, when is this night? Let's see what hadith, what Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in the hadith. There's a hadith mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, an uh, Ubadat ibn Samit, qal kharaj al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam li yukhbirana bi Laylatul Qadr. فَتَلَاحَ رَجُلَانِ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَقَالْ خَرَجْتُ لِيُخْبِرَكُمْ بِلَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ فَتَلَاحَ فُلَانٌ وَفُلَانٌ فَرُفِعَتْ وَعَسَى أَنْ يَكُونَ خَيْرًا لَكُمْ فَالْتَمِسُوهَا فِي التَّاسِعَةِ وَالسَّابِعَةِ وَالْخَامِسَةِ Let's try to understand the hadith. Let's see what Prophet is telling us here. So Abad ibn Sabit is saying the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came out to inform us about the night of Qadr. But two Muslims were quarreling with each other. So the Prophet said, I came out to inform you about the night of Qadr. When is this night of Qadr? But such and such, so there were two Muslim, two persons, two Muslim, was in a quarreling, arguing. Two persons was quarreling. So the news about it had been taken away. Yet that might be for your own good. So search for it on the 29th, 27th and 25th of Ramadan. So it could be one of the ordinates. Let's see if there's a, what Allah, Prophet Sallallahu also mentioned in other hadith. So there's a hadith from Aisha Dila Anha, where Prophet Sallallahu said, تَحَرَّوا لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ فِي الْوِتْرِ مِنَ الْعَشْرِ الْأَوَاخِي مِنْ رَمَضَانِ This hadith also mentioned in Sahih Bukhari. So Prophet Sallallahu is telling us here, search for the night of Qadr in the odd nights of the last 10 days of Ramadan. So as you can see, uh, dear brothers and sisters, there's no specific uh, d night, uh, Prophet ﷺ mentioned about this night. So we don't know when exactly this night is. Allah SWT has you know, uh, informed him, but it, the, the knowledge was taken away because two Muslims was uh, arguing. SubhanAllah, this is a lesson for us to take from this. You know, two, because of two, two persons was quarreling, Allah SWT taken the knowledge of this and deprived the whole ummah from, uh, from this. Of course, there's a khayr, you know, Allah SWT has you know, you know, wisdom in this. But again, we need to be very careful. We need to be. We need to have this, you know, loving, caring. We need to be. Uh, we need to be people of peace, with 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 uh, with, uh, with our people. I know we should not arguing. We should not quarrelling. We should be loving. Uh, and there's a hadith where Prophet Sallallahu said, "Man kana yu'minu billahi la yumin ahadukum hatta yuhibba li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsihi." You know, a Muslim uh, should love for his brothers what he loves for himself. So let us take a lesson and be careful from this, dear brothers and sisters. So you see the Laylatul Qadr, you know, the when exactly Laylatul Qadr is, it's not known, we don't know. Uh, you know, in our community you have this knowledge where you mentioned uh, it could be 27th, you know, people only dedicate 27th, uh, night of 27th uh, for, for Laylatul Qadr. Be very careful. Our Prophet did not know when the Laylatul Qadr was. 
uh, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked us to, uh, you know, uh, look for Laylatul Qadr in these nights, uh, in, 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 uh, in, uh, in last 10 days, in the odd nights. Sahaba didn't know when Laylatul Qadr was exactly. So let's be very careful. Now, why do you want to be so stingy with, our, with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala when Allah is giving us so much? You know, he's saying Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. You know, he's this, you know, worshipping in this one night is equivalent to a thousand nights, a thousand months. Why do you want to be stingy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And look how our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so meticulous about this night. He, even when the Laylat al-Qadr's was mentioned, he did itikaf in first ten days. And then he was informed that it's not in, in, in those ten days. Then he did, he, he did itikaf in following ten days. And then he was informed again it was in those ten days. And then he did atakaf, continued to do atakaf in last 10 days, and then he was told Laylatul Qadr is actually in one of those nights. And then he continued to do atakaf uh, his uh, entire life. So, dear brothers and sisters, we don't know when the Laylatul Qadr is. So, let us not just rely on 27th and, and waste this opportunity, opportunity of li our life to opportunity. You know, uh, Worshipping in this one night, so as if you're reading Quran in Kareem, if you're reading Dua, if you're praying, it's like as if you're doing this for 83 years, 80, 80, uh, a thousand months. I mean, if you're living for 84 years, I mean, how many, how long are you doing, uh, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we worshipping Allah SWT? You're not worshipping 24-7, right? You're not worshiping Allah SWT for 24-7, but just worshiping in this night, only on this night, is equivalent to, equivalent to thousand nights. And do you really want to waste this opportunity, dear brothers and sisters? So alhamdulillah, now that we know what is Laylatul Qadr and when is Laylatul Qadr, so now what do you do in this, Laylatul Qadr, in, in this night? And what did our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do in this night? Let's see what the hadith say about uh, this, uh, this night. So the hadith from Aisha radiallahu anha, where he said, قَالَتْ كَانَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِذَا دَخَلَ الْعَشُّ شَدَّ مِئْزَرَهُ وَأَحْيَا لَيْلَهُ وَأَيْقَضَ أَهْلَهُ This hadith again mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari. So when, with the start of the last 10 days of Ramadan, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to tighten his waist, his waist belt. So each another was saying, you know, he used to work harder. And he used to pray all the night. And he used to keep his family awake for the prayers. Subhanallah. So, can you see our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi how seriously he took, the, took this night? So, in this night, inshallah ta'ala, inshallah we'll find this night in, in, in coming 10 days, inshallah. Inshallah, may Allah, may Allah uh, help us find that night and give us opportunity to, uh, to do our best in this night, inshallah. So, what we should do in, this, in, in these odd nights? We should be increasing our salah, tahajjud, qiyam. We should be increasing our recitation and we should be doing dua and supplication. Look, there's a hadith from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari where he mentioned, Man qama laylat al-qadri imanan wa ihtisaban ghufila lahu ma taqaddama min zambi. You know, whoever stood for the prayers in the night of Qadr out of sincere faith, so whoever stood in this night for, for, for prayer with two conditions. Imanan wa ihtisaban, with sincere faith. It's not just for showing off, it's not just, you know, uh, a regular ritual, out of rituals, you know, doing, doing this you know, without any, 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 uh, any goal, or, or the, without any objective. It should be with objectives, with iman, and believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and ihtisaban, and hoping for a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's when, then, then, all his previous sins will be forgiven. So, dear brothers and sisters, we should be doing, uh, uh, increasing our, 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 our salah, our tahajjud, our qiyam in this night, inshallah. And also there's hadith from Aisha radiallahu anha. Look, look how uh, the, the sahaba you know, took this matter so seriously. Aisha radiallahu anha said, An Aisha anna qalat, Ya Rasulullah, ara'ayta in wafaqtu laylat al-qadri ma ad'u. Qal, taqulina, اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو عفو فعفو عني. So he taught Aisha رضي الله عنها a dua which is consist of just 
seven words. Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Seven words. So if, 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 we, if we find this, it should be increasing reciting this dua. Ten times, twenty times, hundred times, thousand times. You know, should be increasing. The Prophet Sam told this dua, this again mentioned in, in Ibn Majah. So Prophet Sam said, you know, uh, Aisha al said, what do you think I should say in my supplication, you know, if I come upon Ayatul Qadr? Then Prophet said, say, Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are forgiving and love forgiveness. So forgiving. Look, it's all about forgiving. It's all about forgiving, dear brothers and sisters. And there is a lesson for us to learn from this. We should be forgiving, you know, should be forgiving others, forgiving ourselves, you know, if we uh, feel guilt from, okay, it's good, but again, forgive yourself, forgive uh, uh, others, and be forgiving, be, 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 be loving, lo loving individual, loving, loving, loving Muslims. And that's the key dua we should be learning from, from, from this night. Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. Dear brothers and sisters, we should not take this night lightly. We should not waste this night. We should be making best of this night. You know, we should dedicate whole night just in ibadah, inshallah. Uh, if we can, uh, we should uh, find out when the, 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 the last uh, odd nights, last three, or last, the last five odd nights, and try, try to you know, increase your prayers and uh, book your and you leave if you have a few days from when you leave or if you are uh, uh, if you if you're doing anything else see if you can uh, you know, uh, sleep less and uh, uh, do more worship and also be careful of wasting this this opportunity this night let us be very serious let's take this seriously this is a serious matter this is a serious matter for yourself for ourselves for the ummah for our family for everybody for anti humanity this is a very serious night dear brothers and sisters May Allah give us tawfiq, ability to find this night, inshallah ta'ala. Bless us in this night and find this night and make best use of this night. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.